video where I'm going to be creating some sparkly ocean waves here. I used a rainbow palette for fun and I also drew inspiration from another YouTuber here. Um, her name is Emily. I will link her down below. She's incredibly talented. Definitely check her out. I've actually been wanting to do a rainbow water painting for a while so I combined the two because Emily is the queen of water paintings and um, <laughs> I just had so much fun creating this and I really hope you enjoyed. It's an easy piece. It took me about 30 minutes. Anyone can do it and I just go through some blending techniques and walk you through the process. So if you want to learn how to create this, just keep watching. Okay, so to start out this painting, just grab a few colors that you like. I picked white, dark blue, a medium blue, yellow, and pink. But you can use any colors. I just picked these colors because I thought they were fun and I wanted to do a rainbow water scene. So I'm going to be walking you through this painting today, but also at the same time sharing some of my blending tips for acrylic paint. So my first tip is to blend from light to dark. And that's just gonna make it a lot easier for you to um, not muddy up your colors, but to create a nice even blend. And so I'm gonna start this painting by doing the lightest part um, towards the bottom, towards the foreground, which is gonna be closest to us. And then I'm gonna be moving into my darker shades towards the top, which is gonna be the farthest waves from us. So I'm just blending all my colors in and creating a nice gradient going up and blending that in and then my this brings me to my second tip which is use water <laughs> so my brush that I have right now it is completely loaded up with water and I use that to blend and smooth out all of my paint and make it all nice and even so use a lot of water with acrylics they're water-based paints so they mix well with water and so I'm just going in with my water loading my brush up again and again when you see me reach up that is me dipping my brush in my water jar so i'm just blending all those colors together with water also using white to lighten up my shades and helping them blend a little bit better which brings me to my third tip which is to use white or a middle tone to help blend your colors together so for purple and blue they are very similar to each other on the color wheel so I use them to blend together and then also just using cool colors with cool colors using green as the in-between shade from my orange on the bottom to blue and just creating those mid-tones and also using white as a way to smooth everything out and make everything look a little bit more cohesive. So now I am mixing up my first deep color which is going to be creating these shadows for my waves and I'm using a large flat brush to just create those waves in the background these waves are going to be smaller and then as I work my way towards the bottom of the page or the foreground they're going to be much much larger so I'm using the edge of my brush to create some definition in those waves and I'm using a lot of water here so they blend nicely into the background and that they flow nicely with the rest of the painting and there's not a lot of harshness that they kind of just melt into the waves. So I'm mixing up a purple color and transitioning my wave shadows into a darker purple from my blue and then into a more of a medium purple and then just blending those out. And I use a lot of water to blend into my, well, background but first layer which is actually the top of my waves and now I'm transitioning into a blue green. My fourth tip is going to be actually related to the size brush and I would say to use a larger brush for blending because it'll help bring all of your colors together and it'll just be a lot easier and a lot less streaky looking than a small brush. So I have a pretty decently sized brush here for my paper size and I just think that helps with smoothing everything out making it go a little bit quicker too but also just making it look a little less streaky and then using a small brush for details if needed but here I use 
the same brush and I just use the flat side of it to help get the little details that I need. But right now I'm going in and I'm adding little tinier details, little shadows in the background that are going to help and complement my merger shadows. So I'm just going through and adding all of those in. And now I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. This is an angular brush and I'm mixing white in with my yellow and I'm adding a highlight to the top of my wave and I love this step because it adds a lot of dimension to the waves and I go through and I do this to all of my waves, the big ones and the small ones. I do it with my yellow, green, purple, and blue and of course going in onto all of my little tiny waves that I made in the background and I add highlights to those too. So it's a really cool effect that I love. And this brings me to my Next tip, which is to clean your brushes often, um, especially in this step when you're adding crisp highlights, you're definitely going to want to keep your colors pure and bright looking, so you're not going to want them mixed with other tones. So just clean your brush often, use a glass of water, and rinse off your brush every so often. I'm using a um, jar that we're reusing from Salsa, so <laughs> I just cleaned it out, rinsed it, and now it is my paint jar. So now I'm going back in with some darker blue and just deepening up some areas that I thought needed a little bit more dimension. And I'm just blending that along using quite a bit of water to mix into my acrylics. My paints are pretty much dry at this point, so it really helps to add some water on top of your paints to help smooth them out. Which brings me to my last tip, which is going to be to work quickly. Um, <laughs> This one's kind of a big one with acrylics because they dry so fast and if you don't work quickly you can actually end up pulling off some of your paint so you're going to want to work quickly or let your layer completely dry before going in with another one. So those are all of my tips for you. I am adding my sparkles right now to the top of my waves. I'm just using a tiny detail brush and adding little like plus signs in some areas and then I add little tiny just like microscopic dots everywhere else and I'm focusing them on the center imagining that there's a sun right above it and that is going to complete this tutorial as well as my six tips for blending in acrylic paints thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments down below which tip is your favorite and if you want me to do more of these tip videos in the future Thanks again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!